Hello, I'm Josh Holly from Maleco Heavy Industry Corporation, and today we are going to uh, talk about this little fella, which is the Manther. It is a monophonic uh, analog synthesizer. Uh, it is CEM3340 based BCO, an SSM2044 based BCF, discrete BCA, and of course, uh, digital LFO so we can sync it, uh, digital noise, sub, and uh, delay. So this fella has been uh, quite a uh, work in progress. We've uh, spent probably about a year and a half in development um, with this, this thing and pretty pleased with the results. Uh, it started out as a little more stripped down and simplified than it is right now, but uh, the end result is quite an incredible machine. Um, so what we're gonna do real quick is I'm just gonna start uh, by clearing this, this pattern, shift clear, and we will go into record mode, and I can either do a, let's turn all these things down, filter up, and you can do record, just, so I can just input notes by just playing it, and you'll see them come up on the screen. Or if I don't want that, I could have traditional, just select a note, select a note, oops, select a note, select a note, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, now we have a super simple sequence. It's a single note. Uh, where it gets interesting is you can go into probability, and right now you'll see each step that's lit has a 100% pro probability we're going to bring it down to 68. So all you have to do is just hit that. You'll notice that step one, it diminished a bit. So now this has a 68% chance of actually firing. So you can create a uh, really complex sequences really quick. Uh, going out, it also has repeats. So I can have up to four repeats per step. And uh, you can set delay, gate length, accent, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, whereas something that's super cool is you can also do motion recording. So as the sequence is going, you can adjust the cutoff. And so now you'll see that it's lit, which means that the, that there's something going on with that slider. Is this motion recording, is this per step or do you have uh, motion per? So this is per sequence. So it just, it just swiped the whole thing. If I wanted to do per step, I would just hold a button and then say, I want noise on this, this channel. That step has noise at full volume. Okay. And none of the other ones do. So right away, you can really, really make, I mean, you can literally make this a drum machine. Do a resonant kick, kick, noise as a snare, kick, 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 snare, et cetera, et cetera. And With only one voice. Yeah. But only one voice at a time, but each step can be a completely different sound and up to 64 steps. Uh, also has a delay in it. Uh, you can either sync it to the master clock, it'll do divisions, uh, or you can make it, of course, unsynced. There's another mode that you can take the delay and make it super tight. Under 15 milliseconds is the entire sweep. Uh, you can also assign that to the LFO to give super crazy... So the delay is also automated uh, with parameter automation? It is. Okay. Yeah, every, every single thing is automated. Uh, and so, for example, one thing I really like to do is I'll take the, the delay, I take it down to a super tight delay, I'll make random and, uh, and then assign it to an LFO, bring up the LFO amount, and now the sound is sort of like a flange, but a different, a different flange setting per step uh, based off a random so value. You, so you receive with the delay some resonator, something like that? Absolutely. And FM is possible, yeah? So the LFO will go into uh, an audible rate, yes. So to get out of this, shift clear, clears literally everything out, of, now we can start. Uh, micro steps, something where you can split uh, one step even brighter? Uh, as far as timing goes? Yeah, um, that you get, can make one step in four steps. Correct. Yeah. So that would be a repeat function. So you would go to shift, repeat, 
And so I can repeat up to four steps per. So, so I could have step one active and it will, I have the option to make one up to four repeats per step. So you can get incredibly complex rhythms really, really easily. Uh, combine that with probability and that's where it really gets interesting. So basically, um, in the, the core is analog, and, uh, but uh, the, uh, the DSP is there for the display and... Correct. The sequencer and uh, the display, the delay and the LFO. What kind of uh, connections we have here uh, for additional, for external stuff or...? So there's a lot of different CV options. So there's, um, you can have mix out, you can have uh, an external clock in if you don't want to use MIDI. I have CV in for the VCO. I have CV out uh, if that's something I want. Uh, VCA, I can, I can control anything externally or this externally. And the backside, you have also uh, uh, what kind of audio input outputs, um, mono output? Yes, so it's a it's a mono output. So there's a phone, a headphone, and just a mono out. MIDI. Yes, MIDI in and out uh, is also available. Yes, so it uh, should be shipping the beginning of 2018. Price point? The price point is $649. And you have met, uh, for the uh, viewers an update for the two auto devices, two auto boxes. I'm sorry, say it again? Um, you have an update for the users, for, for the auto boxes, the wavetable and... Uh... So the uh, BFF will follow the Manther fairly soon. Uh, we're hoping about a month and a half after we see the Manther hit the streets, the BFF will sh uh, follow shortly. Uh, also, there are other boxes planned that we will uh, be a surprise for everybody. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you.